where we place our virtual camera when we're creating these artist concepts uh, is often very important to telling the story. If we place our camera behind the planet, so the planet is silhouetted by its star, we get a good look at the star. Another reason we wanted to take this uh, viewpoint is it highlights the fact that there are other exoplanets in the system. And in fact, you can see that in, in our first draft. You can see there's the star in the distance and you can see the other four inner planets. That was the first actual image that the scientists got from us. The feedback was that water was way too blue. Yes, it's, it fell within its habitable zone, but it was barely within the habitable zone of the star. Uh, so it was likely to be about as hospitable to human life as Mars is. They asked for more ice on the planet to indicate more water locked up in the form of ice caps. Another thing we did was we actually uh, adjusted the color temperature of the star to reflect color that that star would have compared to our own sun. So, and then after, again, several revisions, we finally ended up with the, with the final image. We see this dingy, barely lit planet, and you kind of don't want to go there. Instinctively, you, you're, you're repulsed by it. Well, I want to go there, but, you know. Well, okay, you don't want to go there and, and stay there. I don't want to live there, but. You don't want to stay more than one night. Maybe two.